Hi, this is Mark from Malthouse Engineering, and in this video we're going to be going through how we ensure traceability throughout the entire production process. So this is something which is really key for a number of our customers operating in safety critical industries, where they need to know exactly where the material came from, and they need to know that what they've asked for is what they've been supplied. So what we're going to do in this video is start in the stockyard, we're going to go through every single process and stage, and talk about how we ensure traceability from the point at which we receive the material, to the point at which we process it, to the point at which it goes out to the customer. So when material comes into the yard, every single plate is given its own unique reference number, and that's our internal stock reference number, which traces that material back to a specific purchase order. What we then do is we colour code each plate depending on the material grade. We then also write the thickness on there as well. So this, for example, is white, C45, and it's 200mm thick. Further up, we've got different colours representing different plate grades, and then we've also got the different thicknesses as well. And this number here, We'll then follow that particular plate around throughout the entire process and we'll go inside the factory and have a look at that in more detail. Okay so we're in the thick cutting bay where we cut up to 500mm thick and what I wanted to show you is how we go about tracing uh, material through the production process. What we do is every job or every customer order has a job card and that details who the customer is, the material grade they want, uh, the thickness, uh, quantity and overall dimensions and diameters. It also records some other aspects which aren't relevant to this video but we'll go through in other videos. And what I wanted to show you was this customer has requested a particular grade of material in a particular thickness and what we do as part of our stock system is we keep a record as you can imagine of everything we have both full plates but also off cuts and part use plates. So what we've got here is a stock sheet and this shows for this particular plate um, which has this reference number which is something we talked about uh, in the stockyard that we've used previously from a different order part of the corner. So this gets drawn on here, the overall dimensions get put on and then we update our stock system with this sheet every day so we know exactly what it is we've got in, in stock. So what I wanted to show you was this particular customer has ordered a particular thickness and a particular grade. Production have then identified that we've got this particular plate in stock that matches up the material and also the overall thickness and we've then selected that to go with this job and then what we can see is on the actual cutting bed if we go and have a look at the grade we can see again with the color coding that we talked about in the stockyard uh, we've got the dimensions uh, in terms of the uh, material grade thickness and then we've got that unique stock reference number on there as well so what we've done is we've identified the material that we're going to use then once the specific plate is chosen, it's loaded onto the machine and the cutter will go through and cut it, the actual reference number will be recorded on a job card there in the plate number box and then that's the way we tie up a particular job to a particular steel plate. What we can see is this will be cut out of there, if there's any plate remaining, if there's any material remaining, that will then get updated on the stock reference sheet which will then get scanned onto our stock system so we know exactly what it is we've got in stock. And then one of the things that's worth noting is this was a, a larger plate with just a little bit cut out what we'll sometimes have is the diameters left over if we're doing doing a ring we have the the inside of that ring left so what we then do is we'll record on each of the offcuts the actual plate that it came out of so you can see on here and then we've got the material ref and then the thickness and we do that across all the different offcuts we've got so we've constantly got a record of exactly what it is that's in stock uh, and the material plate that it came out of. Uh, what we'll do now is we'll go and have a look at the test certs and how we go about tying up the particular test certificate to the actual grade of material. Okay, so we're in the admin office now and this is where all the paperwork associated with production and uh, material gets uh, brought together. It will then get copied uh, onto our server. So we've got an electronic copy and also a hard copy. Um, so we saw in the stockyard where each plate when it's received is given that unique stock reference number. That's then put on the job card on the shop floor which we saw uh, that particular job being cut. Uh, any off cuts are marked with that um, stock reference number as well so we've got traceability of off cuts. And then in the admin office is where we store the test certificates which we get from the supplier when we receive the material. So the plate we saw being cut was 55678 so that's the corresponding test certificate and this gives the chemical composition so if a customer wants uh, they can either request this to the point of order so when they receive it this comes with it or if they want to come on to us um, after receiving their order they can then request this and we can send that through to them uh, so that hopefully gives you an idea of how we ensure uh, material traceability throughout our production process if you want to ask any uh, questions or if you need any more information then please put it in the comment section uh, down below Phone us on 0121 557 8455 or email 
us at sales at multitaskengineering.com. Uh, look out for future videos, which we're going to be doing on our quality management process, how we ensure um, inspections throughout the, uh, the whole production process at various different stages, and then how we uh, go about ensuring customer satisfaction. We're also going to be doing some videos on material grades and the different grades that we, we can supply. Uh, so look out for those, they're coming in the next few weeks.